How's it going? It is currently Sunday afternoon-ish. I think it's like 3-ish p.m. Let's see. It's like 2.30 p.m. actually. Let's, let's backtrack a little bit. So Sundays. I am a usual victim of Sunday scaries. If you don't know what Sunday scaries are, it's basically like when all of the anxiety of the coming week just hits you at once on like, usually happens like Sunday night when you're just like, holy shit, the week is coming, I'm stressed, I'm scared of everything that I have to do this week and I'm just anxious. And if you've had a relaxing weekend, like for me, I went hiking yesterday, I went to get tacos. I went to get birria tacos. I think that's how you say it. Um, they were so good. Okay, they're really good. They're like crunchy tacos and you like dip them into like this soup and it was like really good. I watched a movie. I baked cookies. Like I had, I had a time yesterday, okay? But today, like this morning, I like did my usual morning routine. Like, you know, did the thing. Tony and I we took some really nice photos actually for instagram this morning so that was nice he just went home and so i have been hit with the anxiety of monday because i'm like i have a lot of things to do next week i have a whole list of things that i like to do on sundays to just ease my mind relax myself a little bit but also be productive so that i'm not extremely like oh my god super stressed tomorrow morning monday morning so I thought I would just like take you through my day, my afternoon really, show you what I do, how I get ready for the week, how I like kick ass so that on Monday morning I'm just like, oh, gosh, I got this. <clears throat> These cat allergies are really... So I'm going to make some lunch now and I think I'm actually going to practice some piano afterwards because I actually really enjoy practicing on Sundays because I don't have as much time to practice like on Monday, especially Monday because Monday is like the day everybody comes back and they're like, okay, let's get this week started. So let's go eat. coffee even though it is actually really cold today I feel like I don't know if you're also like me and you drink iced coffee when it's really cold outside let me know because my mom was judging me hardcore she was like 
how can you do that? It's so cold in here. Yes, so I was actually gonna start on a little bit of work. So what I like to do, honestly, I only do this if I know I have like a crap ton of work that I need to get done on Monday or like the beginning of the, the coming week. I'll actually get started on some of that work now. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this because they're like, girl, they're not even paying you for working overtime. They're not paying you to work on Sundays. But in my head, it's like if I get that those little tasks done or I get started on what I need to get started on on Monday, I just like, A, I finish earlier on Monday. So I'm not working as hard on Monday. And I just feel like I feel less stressed. But I looked at my desk. I looked at my room and I was like, I cannot... I cannot. I simply cannot. So I'm going to tidy up my room. I'm not going to like deep clean or anything because that's, that's, that's another day, honey, okay? I deep cleaned my closet and that was like three, four hours. That's not happening today. So cue the non-copyrighted music. Oh, and before I actually start cleaning, I was going to say something else that helps a lot is I like to use timers. So I'm just on my iPhone, just going to set a timer for 10 minutes. So that was very easy. I still have three minutes to spare. That's what I'm talking about. I think what I'm going to do first, because before I can even get my mindset in that space of like getting work done for actual work, I need to get organized. And so I think what the first thing I'm going to do is set up my own to-do list for next week and put in any important dates, any important meetings that I need to remember that I can't forget in my journal or my bullet journal. So I'm going to do it now and then I'll show you what I mean when I'm done. Okay. And with bullet journaling, the fun thing is that you can like decorate it however you want. And I like religiously follow Amanda Rach Lee, which I am so excited about her December theme for her bullet journal. I thought I just watched the video and it's so cute. So I'm definitely going to do that. Um, but the theme for this past month of November was the Among Us video game. So that's how I decorated my bullet journal and it's very cute. That's kind of like what it looks like. It's like really cute. These little people or characters are like the Among Us characters. It's so cute. So I'm gonna do that and drink my coffee and listen to some tunes. Okay, so this is my weekly spread in the theme of Among Us. It's so cute. Uh, so basically, I just have every single day of the week here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way to Sunday. And here, I basically write down all my tasks. And then here, I write any specific events that I have for that day. But the real star of the show is the top. So this top row right here. So I have all the different parts of my life <laughs> categorized in different like main categories. So I have work, I have life, YouTube, what is that? Social and network. And basically here, I'm just going to write any tasks that at the top of my head that I know I have to get done this week. And then let's say Monday tomorrow, I'll look at this list of all the things that I need to do. And I'll be like, okay, 
what do I want to get done today? So I might be like, okay, for my work section, I'm going to get this done, this done, and this done. And then let's say I need to edit this video and that's here. And I'll bring that over here and be like, okay, today I'm going to do that. So basically this is like my bucket of all the tasks that I need to get done this week at some point this week. I don't know what day. And then as the days come up, I'll be like, okay, today I'm going to do this and that and that. But yeah, I really like it. It keeps the sister organized. Now that I have this beautiful spread, I'm gonna just like write out all of the lists that are that come to the top of my head that I know I need to get done this week. So I'm gonna do that now. So my to-do list is written. As much as I feel good that I wrote everything that I need to do, I'm like low-key estressed, but it's okay because I know everything I have to do now. So another part of my Sunday routine that is actually proven to be extremely important and very helpful to do on a Sunday are those little tasks that you know you have to get done, but you've been pushing them off like every day. So I'm talking like those tasks that you just have, like that you, am I okay? So I'm talking about those tasks that you know in your mind, you know in your heart and soul that it's not gonna take that long to do it, but for some reason, you just can't get yourself to do it. So for me, that's ordering something online that I actually really need and just haven't done it. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm putting pressure on myself because I'm filming, so I have to do it. And then, I don't know, I think I'm gonna have a Zoom call with some of my friends. We've been doing this thing lately because for obvious reasons, we can't see each other. Um, we can't hang out, so we've been doing like, uh, not daily, but like every other day Zoom calls where we just do work, and it's been really nice actually, we just like work in silence, we catch up for like the first five minutes, and then we just like work, so highly recommend that as well. I put on my workout outfit, which I am obsessed. So cute. Um, anyways, so I put on my workout outfit so that I can make sure that I get a workout in before I go to sleep. But now I'm going to do some of that work stuff that I have to do tomorrow, but I'm just gonna get started on it, nothing crazy. So I'm gonna start on that now, probably join my friend's Zoom call and do that until I feel like I wanna work out. Sometimes if I want to like end my Sunday on like a super good note, I will try, okay? I'm trying to learn how to meditate, okay? I find that Sundays are like the best time to be like extremely mindful. And when I say mindful, what I mean is just being present. Don't think too much about the future. I know like I made a whole freaking to-do list. <laughs> But that's my purpose of making the to-do list. It's like to get it out of my head and stop thinking about the future and just start thinking about the present. So it helps a lot with anxiety if you're feeling, if you find yourself extremely anxious or just like stressed. And part of that is trying, again, emphasis on trying to learn how to meditate because it's actually really freaking hard. So I really love the app Headspace. 
I am sure you've heard of it. If you haven't heard of it, it's basically just an app for meditation. It's amazing. It also makes you sleepy. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me sleepy, so it's good to like end your day with meditation. That was so nice. Uh, I just freaking love this app. It's so good. But yeah, so that's pretty much my Sunday. I hope that you got some inspiration to just like treat your Sunday as a chance to make your week better. I'm gonna go to sleep now, but thanks so much for spending my Sunday with me <laughs> or spending your day with me or a part of your day with me. Um, I really appreciate it and I'll see you very soon. Bye!